Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome back to Animatica 2 Expert Mode. In the last episode, we were working on... Uh, what were we getting? We were working on uh, getting through... That's right, we didn't get any new machines. Well, okay, we did, but we didn't. Uh, we were working on getting into the... Um, basically, industrial foregoings uh, machine case from Tesla Core. Uh, this thing required a bunch of advanced, uh, well, advanced machine casings, reinforced stone, and some rubber. Wasn't too awful to make, um, but was definitely necessary so that we can get into applied energistics. Now, between last episode and this episode, I've done a couple of things. Uh, first of all, as you can tell, I have all the inscriber presses. I decided to go ahead and head out to some of these uh, meteors that had dropped. So there's one there. Uh, I had one already and I lucked out. I only went to uh, three other uh, meteors. I went to, which ones did I go to? I went to the two down here as well. Uh, and I went to that one. I went to four of them. I thought I had one already, maybe not. Um, but anyways, I went to different meteors. There's uh, another one down the desert. There's one in the Savannah. And there's one over here that I went to, um, on top of a mountain actually, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I figured I'd do that since uh, exploring like that would be a little bit laggy. Uh, something else I did was finish the floor in this building. So uh, our house now has a floor. So we have a first floor we can work with. And pretty much at this point we just need to start getting some stuff together so that we can make everything we need uh, to the extent of like figure out what rooms we want and all that kind of stuff. Also, all this cherry wood gave us a lot of cherries. So yeah, we're gonna have to do something with all of that. Um, there is an upgrade we can make for the fridge, which we might want to do relatively soon. That will allow us to make like slushies and stuff. And cherry slushies is something that we can make pretty easily. So uh, that is something we will get to soon enough. But for now, let's go ahead and head back to the temporary base and get to crafting. So there's a handful of things we need to do today. Um, and hopefully we're going to be able to do them all. So first things first, we're going to eat a taco. <laughs> uh, taco is a new food. Uh, we need to get our dairy nutrition up. Everything else is fine. So I found something that had dairy and that's what we're going to go with. Anyways, we have the inscriber presses. That's awesome. And we can start making the inscribers. Uh, our first inscriber just takes one machine case, and then we're gonna make an advanced inscriber uh, relatively quickly after that. Question, how many diamonds do we have? We have 22 diamonds. All right, so probably need to get more diamonds, but that's okay. Uh, but before we get into that, we are going to make the network cables. Now, these are pretty important. Uh, so we need compress lapis dust all right i think we can handle that let's get four of these so these network cables are used to make the actually let's grab i noticed i have some overclocker upgrades um these network cables are used to make the like flu the flux ducts maybe fluid ducts i don't know what all ducts they're used to make uh in fact i could just do this uh, they're required to make transfer pipes, uh, leadstone flux ducts, and item ducts, as well as fluid ducts and hardened fluid ducts. So they're pretty important, um, but if, I, if we want the opaque ones, we want the normal ones, which who wants the normal ones? Uh, it does just require glass. That's not too bad. And then fused quartz, which, or any hardened glass, so that's a little bit more difficult. Um, now, hardened flux ducts just require the normal ones with some invar, so that's easy enough. And we can't go any farther after that because the redstone energy ones require fluid transposer, which we can't quite make. Uh, so let's go ahead and sleep. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the first set of these cables. Uh, macerator and compressor will work just fine to get us bejeweled 
That's an interesting uh, achievement. Grind down some lapis. All right. Um, but this will give us the lapis plates. And that will burn all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and then we should be able to just come around here. And uh, we need a gold plate, I think it was. Let's see. Uh, yes, a gold plate. So we just need a piece of gold smelted up into a plate form. And then that should be that. Uh, there we go. That was a little a little awkward. Uh, so we'll make the gold plate. We'll need four redstone and that that's it. So uh, nothing too difficult there. And then we can get into the applied energistic stuff that I want to get to today. So rubber goes in there. We're gonna need one machine casing. Uh, and for the inscriber, we're gonna need reinforced stone, sticky pistons, and flux blocks. Now flux is the only one that's kind of difficult. Um, unless we don't have any slime. We have one piece of slime. We'll have to go get another piece of slime uh, to make another sticky piston. Should not be too difficult, though. We have our plate. We do. Let me put that away. And let's go ahead and make these cables. Now, this is a quest, so um, that's good. We can get into various things uh so gates we can get controllers from xnet more network cables or blue connectors i don't really have a desire for any of this xnet stuff so yeah they're not that expensive assuming that these oh that's kind of nice uh, you can make repeaters without having redstone torches, just making redstone torches on top of them. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this doesn't look that bad if we ever want to use it. And then the other thing was a blue control. What was it called? What is the other thing? Connector. A blue connector. And that is probably... Requires a chest. Nah, it doesn't look that bad either. Um, but like I said, I don't think we're going to end up using this stuff. So we're just going to get more cables. That that makes the most sense to me. So now we can make uh, the, the flux ducts, the item ducts, and the uh, fluid ducts as we need. And that that's important. Um, we do still have some impulse item ducts that are signal and plated. Which basically just means they can transfer power as well. Uh, so we'll keep those for, we'll use those for the time being. And uh, all in all, like, should be fine. We should be okay for getting stuff now. Uh, now we're going to need some charged surges and some nether quartz plus some redstone. We need to go find some water, which luckily there is a big pond right next to our base. And for this next step, we just need to throw these all in here and watch as they pop into some flux crystals now four flux crystals will make a flux block and that's almost everything we need so we need some reinforced stone which i feel like we have some still don't we um maybe not uh, we can get rid of that now reinforced stone just requires grout I yeah we have plenty of that Okay, so quite literally, we have everything for the inscriber except for the two sticky pistons. So we need some slime. And the best way to get slime is from a slime island. And there are a couple near us. So let's try to get up to one and get some slime. Uh, that should be everything we need to do. So, uh, yeah, the flux crystals, if you take charged surges quartz plus redstone plus nether quartz, uh, in a one-to-one uh, -one ratio to one ratio um, that will make flux crystals and we're gonna need those for a couple of different things oh my gosh lag um, hopefully here soon I am going to be actually getting this fixed uh, 
So probably in the next day or two, I'm going to order some RAM and uh, that should be all I need to do once I get it and then install it. So there's a slime island there. It is really high up there though. Yeah, it's higher than we can go. Um, There's another one over here and that one is also pretty pretty high up there so I guess let's see one more time if we can yeah we can't we can't reach it so let's go to back to the purple one and we'll figure out a better way um, alternatively we could just like stand underneath them and hope that things spawn and fall but uh, what we're going to do instead is is there any like scaffolding Uh, use a block. Brace yourself all in a line. Um, okay. Responsive. Okay. Um, this is the stuff we're probably going to want to use. So let's head back real quick to the base. And we're just going to get a bunch of scaffolding. Um, this looks like it's the same type as like uh, vanilla, so that's the type we want to use. So we just need a bunch of sticks and some redstone. Uh, let's get like a full stack. I guess I don't really have any sticks. I have some sticks, but not many. So we'll have to get more sticks. Um, hmm. guess let's see. Spruce wood. Guess you're being turned into a bunch of sticks. And unfortunately, uh, stuff like this is kind of expensive because uh, we really should be using a sawmill, but it's fine. All right, let's get back over there. And we're not going to be doing any more quests today because there's no quest for uh, Planet Logistics other than the controller. And we're not going to actually worry about the controller quite yet. Um, it's pretty expensive. So, uh, let's see. Right here should be good. Alright, that works exactly how I think. Um, hey, can I... Let's see. Sneak to build on the opposite side. So, ah. Uh, well, that's a bummer. I like the noise of it, though. Uh, I, I will be honest. I don't play enough vanilla Minecraft uh, in the newer versions to uh, like actually mess around with the scaffolding and all that kind of stuff that is now in the game. But, uh... This sounds really cool. I, I will say that's kind of neat. Uh, all right, we're almost there. We just need to grab some slime. There should be plenty of slime up here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, man, that is really annoying when you get uh, something caught in your throat. Oh, man. Uh, excuse me. One moment. All right, that is a lot better. Okay, so there is a slime up here. I can hear him. And we have green slimes. We have some purple slime. We're gonna grab some of the stuff, but unfortunately we have, it looks like, not the best of slimy trees. We have the blue slimy trees. But there's plenty of slime up here, especially purple slime. So we will uh, eventually come up here and take care of this place. And like get all of the stuff, get all of the purple slime and whatnot. In fact, we probably could do that uh, soonish, but I want to actually grab all of the uh, congealed purple slime plus the liquid slime because it could be useful. 
Anyways, we're just gonna fall. Down here. Break our scaffolding. And we're gonna sleep before we head home. So we get all stacked. We did. Cool. Um, so that scaffolding is gonna be really useful for other things later. And those slabs look like a face. I'm <laughs> during the night it looked like there was a face staring at me. Oh well. Uh let's head back home. Now that we have slime, we can make uh, the sticky pistons and make what we need. So let's let's get right to it. So the inscriber is the first step. Um, what? Oh, does it actually have to be on top? It does. Okay, that I can handle. Um, let's just click. So there is the inscriber. And now eventually we are going to want to make the, uh, we're gonna want to make the advanced inscriber. Uh, the reason being is it's, well, a, it's better. Um, I'll show you guys why in a moment, but let's get some stuff kind of sorted around. And we need to hook this guy up to power. So um, we're just gonna take this right back here and set it up. Right like, right like so. Doesn't really matter how it looks. So this is the inscriber. Now in order to make the stuff we need, we're going to need, uh, let's look at this. So we're gonna need 4K storage, we're gonna need a calculator, calculation processor, plus um, a bunch of ME storage components which requires logic processors. So we're gonna need silicon, gold, we're gonna need three gold, because we're going to start with just a single 4K, and then eventually we will kind of work our way towards automation. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time to get to the point that we want to be at, but um, we'll get there. And then we're going to need two, three, four diamonds. Uh, we're also going to need a good bit of Certus and some redstone. So let's start with... Um, okay, now here's the other question. How do we make the silicon that we're going to need? Uh, silicon ingots. Uh, manufactory with red sand or sand. Um, so let's grab some sand. Do we have any silicon? Probably not. All right, so let's take our boots off. I always want to take off the boots. Also, both of our, two of our armor pieces are really close to breaking. So, manufactory. We're gonna throw some sand in here. And we're gonna get silicon. Now, will this work in here? So we take the silicon press? No. So in order to do anything with this, um, we're gonna need silicon from Enderio Nuclear Craft, which is uh, crusher. Crusher will make that. Or what other types can we use? Uh, a plant logistics, which is smelting crushed quartz powder. Uh, or manufactory with the silicon ingots. Luckily, there is a crafting recipe to get the Ender IO. And as you can see, we can only put one in at a time. That is the catch. So if we want to make more silicon uh, presses, what are these called? Printed silicons. Uh, we need to basically feed it one at a time, and that's that's not fun. Um, luckily, we can stack it in the output, um, but that's not always what you want. If you want to stack items in to be processed, uh, you need the advanced inscribers. Advanced inscribers basically have auto inputs. Uh, so let's get the engineering press. So this is the diamonds. We're going to get two to begin with because then we can just throw a bunch of stuff in and walk away and come back when it's done. So that's the idea. Um, there's also speed upgrades we can get for it. And then we can just turn these 
and this is where it gets like annoying if you want to make uh, multiple things at once it, it takes a while uh, now something else you can do will eventually need five of these uh, five is usually the max I make but uh, with the advanced subscriber five will be more than enough uh, because you can actually just kind of set it up so that uh, you need one to make silicon one to make logic press uh, engineering uh, circuit and calculation circuit and then to make the processors you need another one so five inscribers is all you need now can we make this thing uh, require some hoppers that's aluminum plates or iron plates uh, we're probably gonna use aluminum plates if we can uh, we have some sheet metal and all that kind of stuff so this goes in the middle with some inscribers no um, with some processors here and here and then we're gonna need some iron in fact exactly that much uh, and then the hoppers whoops wrong thing uh, aluminum plates can we cast those out we can that'll be the easiest way so we need 10 aluminum uh, the reason it's gonna be the easiest way is because aluminum is unless we have some hoppers already we do not uh, the, this is going to be the best way to do this because uh, aluminum melts really really quickly and forms really quickly so uh, this will be the quickest way to get all this stuff and once we have the uh, inscribers uh, the advanced inscriber uh, we can start working on getting storage so in order for an applied energistic system to work you need three things uh, you need uh, storage uh, so you need the ME drive uh, you need the actual storage disk that go in those so we're gonna use 4k cells because why not and you need to have some way to access it now you can use an ME chest um, and that includes storage for the the disks but uh, to be perfectly honest an ME terminal we have to make one for that anyway so might as well uh, you also need cables to hook things up, but that's not a big deal either. Shouldn't be anyways, hopefully. Uh, so let's grab, let's grab the aluminum and let's see if we can't make this. Uh, all right, fan subscriber, two hoppers. advanced inscriber perfect so now we can set things up and walk away from them and come back once they're done so that's that's the only reason I want to make this all right so let's go ahead and get logic three logic and does this have an extra yeah it has extra slots for uh, upgrades as well Um, oh, but this requires applied in a, oh man. Okay. Um, I forgot we are also going to need one other thing. An energy acceptor. Uh, how bad would this be compared to... Well, we need to make an energy acceptor anyway. So, uh, looks like we're going to do that real quick. We might have lost a piece of gold. That is okay. So, we're going to put this here. And we need to make the energy acceptor. So, let's see what all we need to do this. I forgot about that part. Um, we do need a way to turn RF power into AE power. And one of the first things we're going to need is one of these redstone engineering blocks. Uh, we're also going to need some vacuum tubes and oh uh, man okay we need to make another inscriber so two more slime uh, let's get rid of some of the other stuff in our inventory uh, we're going to need what was it two pistons and flux block 
So we can always make more Fluix. Alright, so that should be everything. We should be able to make another Inscriber. And we need to make two of the... Uh, two more... Of the other presses. The... What are they? The Engineering Press. So, um... We will eventually... Uh, we will eventually get to the point where we're going to need more of these. So it's not a big deal that we have to make another one. Um, it's just a matter of doing it. So, almost night. Let's get this stuff crafted up. And uh, we're also going to need for this energy acceptor some vacuum tubes, some glass cable, which we're going to need to make some of that anyways. And what else? More flux and charged quartz fixtures, which is not actually that bad. Okay. Uh, so let's sleep. We're going to need more charged quartz. We're going to need more iron. We're going to need lots of things. Now, the vacuum tubes are actually not that bad to make. Um, so because we have this workbench, um, vacuum tubes are just some glass, nickel plate, copper wire, and redstone. Uh, so that's not bad at all. Uh, we can handle that. Now, what was I was coming in here for? We need iron for one. We're going to need to get more iron uh, smelted up and all that kind of fun stuff. I do have a good bit, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we're going to need fluix. That's right. So let's get like eight of each. And we can make charge surge quartz. Um, there are ways. It's just a matter of making a charger, which shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. So just put those in there. They will pop. Give us what we want. We get 16 of these guys. We need two Fluix blocks. And then we're also going to need an extra charged together with a piece of iron to make those fixtures. Uh, and then we're going to need... Oh, uh, we only needed one more uh, of the engineering processors. Uh, we're going to need some cables. To get these, we need quartz fibers, which requires some sort of quartz with glass. Uh, quartz dust, that is. So... Uh, let's get some glass and we'll get the quartz dust processed that should not be a problem uh, crusher will probably work manufactory also works uh, so we're also going to need a couple of pure so we'll get that taken care of as well um how many pures did we need for this? We just need one calculation processor, I believe. We need two. So we're gonna need two pure. Uh, two pure Certus Quartz. So we're just gonna put them in there and that should work. Uh, just gonna take a little bit of time. Now let's make Quartz Fiber. I don't have the glass on me because it's in the other room. Uh, let's eat a taco. And lots of crafting. Uh, this early game is going to be a lot of crafting, and then later we're going to set up systems to do the crafting for us. Um, a lot of this stuff is, I mean, basically all of it is automatable. So it's just going to be a matter of getting, getting to that point. So the only thing we need left is the vacuum tubes. Uh, so those require nickel plates, any sort of glass, copper wire, and redstone. Uh, we can make the copper wire just by taking one of these guys and some wire cutters. Oh my gosh, my inventory is so full. Uh, let's get rid of, let's see, we don't need any more, in... no, we're going to need more of all of these. Oh man. 
Um, we don't need the glass cables right now. Let's get the wire cutters. Get our copper wire. That's the wrong chest. A uh, piece of glass. Then we need a piece of redstone and a nickel plate. So we'll get that cooked up. And while we're kind of like waiting on that stuff, uh, let's go ahead and in the enrichment we have the pure certus. We're gonna put those in there with the calculation press. And as soon as we get the energy acceptor, that will run. Um, now there, there's a handful of things that we're still gonna need after that. Why am I coming in here? Uh, let's see, do we have, almost. Uh, we can get rid of the compressed carbon as well from our inventory. There's just a lot of, a lot of stuff we need to do. I don't think we need any more reinforced stone. Now the ME drive also requires iron casings from actually additions. Um, that is a quest actually. So let's get that on here. And a disk drive from open computers, which requires a microchip. Okay, none of that's like too bad. It's just gonna be a lot of like crafting. Gold, green, and clay. Okay. Um we're gonna have to cook up a piece of cactus. Let's grab some more gold. And we're gonna need a piece of clay. And we can start working towards this. It's not that bad. So once we have all this stuff done, um, it's just gonna be a matter of, and actually, is this used for anything? Nope. We'll cook it all. We should have our nickel and we can get the energy acceptor and start making more processors so vacuum tubes we do get three which is nice we can put one away and make the energy acceptor now that is only one step away from making the uh me controller which is even better uh, but in order to do that, we're going to need more machine cases and this control circuit, which is pretty expensive. So we're not going to worry about that for now. Um, we're just going to use an energy acceptor, and this should be enough. Yep. And this thing is also pretty fast, so it's, it's kind of nice. Uh, we get our printed logic circuit as well. Perfect. Uh, so we need three of the logic processors. So let's get that. And we're gonna need more printed silicon. So sand in the crusher is probably the way to go. We're gonna want a lot of silicon eventually, so might as well. Or it might actually be easier just to throw it in the manufactory. I don't know which one's faster. Probably the manufactory. This thing is actually really fast, so. Get some more silicon. Uh, then we're gonna need one more of the engineering processors. And the next is the silicon. So um, what I'm gonna do is just grab all this, convert it all, and then we're going to get, let's see, we have one, we're gonna need five more. For the time being anyways and this will be fine so um we will come back to that in a moment once it's done so the iron casings we're going to need electron tubes uh iron sheet metals hardened casings which we already have some sturdy casings so uh we only need to do one recipe of this so let's go ahead and grab a sturdy casing and some diamonds uh we also need to put I guess it will go in here. That's fine. Um, diamonds. We need four diamonds. Uh, it's going to be pretty expensive on diamonds to do all this stuff, but it will be worth it in the long run. Alright. 
six of those, six of those, get three of those to begin with. Uh, so the carpenter, put this here, and then we need some buckets of water. Uh, how much water is it? Uh, we can get rid of this for a hardened casing. It is five buckets. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. That'll make that. We have our logic processors. And we're also going to need 10 electron tubes, which are just uh, some glass. We're going to get actually two sets of this because of reasons and it'll make more sense to do that uh is there any what else do we use these for looks like just making iron casings but that's pretty useful so oh yeah we have everything okay cool so let's grab some tin uh let's clean up our inventory just a little bit uh, we don't need the processing presses anymore. So we can just throw those all in here, probably. Uh, we'll keep that on us now. And let's see, we're going to need... What else are we going to need? Uh, we're going to need 10 times 10. 5. What other electron tubes are we going to need? Are copper is going to be useful? No. 10 are bronze are not iron. Yes, we're going to need iron electron tubes as well. So uh, let's get one set of 10, one set of iron. Uh, so we just need a piece of glass or sand, and that's it. So uh, the thermionic fabricator basically uses glass. It then produces uh, the electron tubes and the way it works is it melts the glass and it basically like forms it on top of it and so uh, one piece of glass will actually make a bucket's worth the electron tubes only require half of that and so we're just going to make two sets instead of uh, wasting the glass because I think it will also constantly use power not gold uh, it will constantly use power um, because it's trying to melt the glass that's not there or like it's keep trying to keep the glass melted and that's not something we necessarily want so we have everything except for uh, what is it the iron sheet metal so we just need four iron plates one, two, three, four. And that'll be fine. So, um, we'll get this taken care of. All right, uh, what else do we need to do? We need to make this storage disc. Uh, we're gonna need some more iron plates, that's fine. Uh, the storage disc requires more redstone than we have on us. So much redstone. Let's get like four blocks worth always good to have some extra redstone so we're gonna be making the we are gonna need a few more processors I realize but for right now we're gonna make three of these and then turn these into something better which we need quartz glass for um, so four glass and four oh man we need more glass always gonna need more glass I think don't we have a smelting factory back here Yes, I, I made that. So let's get that going. Um, what else do we need to do? Right, iron plates. We are going to need some more iron plates. Uh, but the iron casing should be able to be made now. It's just the... There, there's a couple other things that we're going to need to do. And that's... Oh man, a lot of work. But it'll be worth it. So, iron sheet metal, iron casings. That is a quest. That is a gate. Uh, we can get two more 
Ooh, that is something we're going to wait on for a little bit. So let's actually go ahead and just make the... Um, we're going to need more Surges Quartz. Okay. That is something that we're going to have to consider. Uh, let's see. Crusher. Actually, we just need to do four of these. We have a good bit of glass. Alright, we should be able to make the storage cell thing. And it's five quartz. And then we can work towards other things. So we're going to need a little bit of this stuff. Uh, we're going to make a 4K storage cell. And then to make this, we're going to need iron plates and iron chests. So we're going to need eight, nine, ten more iron plates. So we'll get that cooking. Um, we're going to need a crafting terminal. So that is going to require three more logic processors. So let's grab the logic and the silicon. Um, and honestly, we're going to turn more or less the rest of the silicon stuff into what we need for, uh, okay, uh, how am I trying to explain this? Uh, so we need three more. Is it only three? Just one, two, three, yes. Uh, so we're gonna turn the rest of the silicon that I have into actual, like, processors and all that kind of stuff. But we'll get to that in a moment. Because before that, I want to make sure we have the circuit. So, um, again, our inventory is getting a little full, but that's okay. So, ME drive, we're also going to need microchips. That's just a bunch of paper, gold, redstone, and iron. Um, anything else here? We need to make an illumination panel, so we are going to need a little bit more quartz glass. Uh, but that's not too bad. And let's go ahead and make this. Um, okay. So we just need glowstone. Two pieces of glowstone. Do we have the ten iron plates? We do. Which means we can do... This. We're going to need a chest. Uh, can we use a trap chest? We can. Cool. I don't have much use for it otherwise. And there is the storage drive. Uh, the storage cell. Alright, we're, we're so close to being done. Um, so we're going to need... What else are we going to need? Uh, for this glowstone. Right. That's what I came in here for. Two pieces of glowstone. Uh, let's just go ahead and make the illuminated panel. It will actually make us three. We're going to use the other two later. Also don't need that anymore. Um, also, also don't need these. Um, man. Inventory. Uh, nether bricks can go in there. Okay. Let's grab the circuits that we need. So, three of those. Actually, no, all of those. Two more of those. Okay. And then we'll set this up to make things, uh, in a second. So, to make the crafting terminal... We're going to need annihilation cores and formation cores. We're going to need two more flux crystals uh, made into dust. Uh, crusher will work. And we're also going to need another pure crystal. And then for the ME drive, we're going to just need iron item casings. So we need two more iron plates. And then everything else should be fine. Are we? We're fine for power. Wow. All right, we have the Flux Crystals. We have a Pure Crystal. And we have our Processors. So one of these will make a Formation Core. Oh, we don't need Pure for that. Okay, that's nice. 
And then for the other one, for the Annihilation Core, I believe we need Nether Quartz. Yeah, Nether Quartz. So not too bad. Um, the Pure Crystal will be fine later. Um, let's get that. And then we should be able to make the ME Terminal. And then the crafting terminal, we just need a workbench, which means I need to go get some wood. Uh, which, again, should not be too pro too much of a problem. Let's grab this. And we're almost there. Uh, once we get this done, we will end the episode off. And um, I'm going to cry because of the amount of resources I've used. So we need a crafting table. Uh, these cores we're going to use later. Um, rather than putting this stuff in here, uh, I'm just going to throw it on the ground for a moment. I'm going to put it in this one. So, Annihilation Core, Fixture, Formation Cores, because those will be useful later. Uh, okay, so Crafting, Table, and there we go. So... Only thing left is to make the Emmy Drive. That's the last thing. So let's go ahead and oh, let's see. We need paper, iron, including nuggets, some gold nuggets, I think it was. What all do we need? Um, we need iron nuggets, iron and gold nuggets. Alright, but we don't have enough iron nuggets, so we'll just make... We'll make our own iron nuggets. And then we also need paper, which... That might actually be a problem. Nope, never mind. Okay, so... Microchip. Transistor. Microchips. And these things are used a lot later, I do believe. And then we need more iron and a piston. Um, my inventory is such a mess. Uh, so we need a piston. And we're going to... Wait, did I use up all of my iron? Uh, that's impressive if I did. So this goes here. We need a stick. Microchip. Um, don't need anything else. Piston. Uh, and then the iron. So we also don't need the paper. Also, we need to sleep. Oh, man. <laughs> this is hectic. Apologies for that, but... It is what it is. Um, I want to get rid of the paper, which paper can go in here. Uh, we're also going to need to hammer out some iron item casings. And then glass can actually go in there. Where did... I, I'm really confused of where all of my iron went, but whatever. Alright, so we should be able to make the disk drive now. And then with the engineering circuits and the iron item casings, there is the ME drive. Perfect. So, let's put it all together. Um, briefly, but let's put it all together. Because this is, this is actually really exciting. We can start doing all the crafting from our inventory. We don't have to go searching for stuff. And all we have to do is put this here. Actually, let's break this. We're going to put a cable here for right now. Drive. Storage. Monitor. And we can put this stuff in here. And it goes into the drive. Awesome. We have Applied Energistics up and running. So now is the fun part where we have to make this all work for going forward so we can get more stuff. Um, what of these do we want to get? Uh, advanced machine casings are not that bad. Bunch of iron, some steel. Uh, steel is easy enough to get now. 
uh, advanced alloy is easy, and carbon mesh. So uh, those are easy enough. Uh, the heavy engineering blocks. Now here's a question. I've made them. Okay. <sighs> heavy engineering blocks are just a bunch of steel, to be perfectly honest. Um, not that bad. So I think we're going to take the iron item casings because those require diamonds. And we're going to use a bunch of those. So let's go ahead and take those. Um, and we can also use them to make more stuff. So that is going to be it for today's episode. Um, we get to end on a little bit of a lag spike. And we have a plan of logistics now. So going forward, the next step is to start uh, expanding it. Uh, one of the first things we're going to want to do to expand it is make this guy. Uh, we're going to need some more machine cases. That's not too bad. Uh, and then we're also going to need to start working towards, like, th there's a lot of things we're, we're going to need. Um, one of the big things is we, we need to start getting some automation. So we're going to need stuff like interfaces. Uh, I don't know how bad these are to make. Oh, it's standard recipe. Normal recipe. Cool. Uh, that is nice and easy. And uh, molecular assemblers are also going to be important. Uh, these guys are much different. Uh-oh. Requires a crafter, which... Analog crafters. Okay, that's just a bunch of wood, to be perfectly honest. And then the redstone gears are nice and easy. But that does require a machine block. So that's a little bit of annoyance, but... There are some really good ways to make these um, with, like, the iron and if we want to use the bronze. So uh, we get three and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's not actually that bad. Um, and then making patterns and all that kind of stuff. Patterns I expect to be basically the standard recipe. Yep, standard recipe. Okay. So, yeah, there, there's plenty of stuff to do. But uh, we will get to it pretty quickly, I think. So the plan is from here, we need to start getting more storage, more, we need to get more automation with all this stuff. And then once we do that, uh, we can start moving towards getting uh, our house set up. So uh, I think next episode, we are. I might do a little bit of work trying to get some more stuff with Applied Energistics, try to get five of these inscribers uh, might be a good idea so then we can start automating them but to be perfectly honest I want ender conduits um, ender IO conduits I should say before we do too much of that stuff because this stuff is just too good uh, unfortunately in order to get pulsating iron we need an alloy smelter or a alloy furnace that we could use and that is something we could probably make pretty soon so uh, we might actually look into that we are also going to need a good source of ender pearls so that's the other concern but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this episode a uh, lot of crafting a lot of hecticness but we got what we wanted and that's the important thing so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next episode bye